Welcome to the fourth episode of the Amiga CD32 review project. It's time to revisit the Alien Breed franchise, this time by taking a look at the special edition of its first installment. This version of Alien Breed was developed and published by Team 17 and released in 1994. On the same disc you'll find another little game called Quack, which I'll also briefly cover in this review. Alien Breed is a top-down run-and-gun shooter heavily inspired by the Alien movies. You're a member of a peacekeeping interplanetary corps and you've been sent out to check on a space research station in the Intex network that has ceased to transmit on Federation wavelengths. As soon as you land on the station, you're reminded of the movie Aliens. You run around the station, not a living being in sight, and everything is too quiet. Immediately, you're in suspense, walking forward only slowly because you're afraid of what you might encounter. Soon, you encounter your first alien though, and because it's so relatively easy to dispatch of, the game changes pace altogether, becoming more of a gauntlet clone than a suspenseful alien game. That's not necessarily a bad thing, mind you. I used to love gauntlet in the arcades. The level sees you blasting aliens, collecting money, which you can use in nearby computer terminals to buy new weapons, keys and even extra lives, and trying to navigate the complex network of narrow hallways that the space station seems to consist of. Each level has a mission, blow up this, close that, and it all ties in nicely to the overall narrative of the game. I have to say that I enjoyed it, without being overwhelmed. A small thing that could really have taken this game to the next level for me was the addition of some more suspenseful music. The game has none at all, which is really a shame on a CD32 remake. Let's take a look at what the reviewers had to say about Alien Breed Special Edition back in the day. Amiga Format awarded it an 87% score, and they say, if you manage to play the original Alien Breed, then you're not likely to be stunned by the additional features or the new version. And they go on to write, for those of you who haven't played the original, and if you enjoy a good shoot 'em up, they don't come much better than this. Amiga Power awarded it 83%, and they write, there's not much variation in gameplay, but it's still enough to keep you coming back. And as for atmosphere, well, if you don't get stressed when the sirens start and you've only got 60 seconds before the generators blow, then you're probably watching El Dorado and not playing the game at all. Amiga Action gave it 91% and they wrote, it's best described as a futuristic gauntlet extracting and developing the atmosphere and action from the Alien film. That was Alien Breed Special Edition. Now let's take a quick look at the other title on the disc, Quack. Quack is a fun little arena platformer in the vein of Bubble Bubble, but a lot more fast paced and I found it really enjoyable. I readily admit that I'm a sucker for old school arena platformers, so I might be slightly biased here, but I was thoroughly entertained by Quack. You control this little duck in his quest to collect the keys in order to open the doors, so that he may advance to the next level. Simple as that. Along the way you meet lots of foes that you can get rid of by throwing eggs at them. You are a bird after all, so I guess throwing eggs makes sense. The levels are filled with various power-ups, jewels and fruit that you need to pick up in order to earn points and new eggs that you can use in the next level. There's no doubt that Alien Breed is the main feature on the disc, but don't forget to give Quack a spin as well. You might like it. It reviewed quite well back in the day as well, getting an average score in the low to mid 80s. Those were the words about Alien Breed Special Edition and Quack, published for the Amiga CD32. Initially, I wanted to give these games a rating of 4, but I think I'll stick with a solid 3 instead. The reason being that these games don't feel like CD32 games. They're simply Amiga games placed on a disc. They really should have put a decent soundtrack on Alien Breed. That would really have added to the mood of that game. 